In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. We prepare to receive and celebrate our sacred mysteries and to hear God's word in Scripture. Let us pause and examine our lives through the ways in which we have sinned and ask the Lord's forgiveness and strength. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. We pray this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let us be on our guard while the promise of entering into his rest remains that none of you seem to have failed. For in fact, we have received the good news just as our ancestors did. But the word that they heard did not profit them, for they were not united in faith with those who listen. For we who believed entered into his rest. Just as he said, as I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. And yet his works were accomplished at the foundation of the world. For he has spoken somewhere about the seventh day in this manner. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again, in previous mentioned place, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, let us strive to enter into that rest, so that no one may fall after the same example of disobedience. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. What we have heard and know, and what our fathers have declared to us, we will declare to the generations to come the glorious deeds of the Lord and his strength. Do not forget the works of the Lord. That they too may rise and declare to their sons that they should put their hope in God and not forget the deeds of God, but keep his commandments. Do not forget the words of the Lord. And not be like their fathers, a generation wayward and rebellious, a generation that kept not its heart steadfast, nor its spirit faithful toward God. Do not forget the words of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited 
his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that all that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to a paralytic, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise, pick up your mat, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose picked up his mat at once and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, in the last uh, few years, uh, we have been uh, lectured and inundated uh, about uh, the dangers of opioid addictions. And uh, it is a danger. And many of these addictions come through not some back street drug dealer or, or some uh, criminal sliding around the corner, but they often come in a hospital setting or a clinical setting. Uh, that is, people take these various prescriptions and Many of the prescriptions are legal. You know, you have a black market on illegal prescription drugs. I did all that. Uh, but, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, uh, much of this has been described and has uh, been abused and overused by the patient or by the person to whom it was prescribed. And uh, this has... Uh, truly become a very serious, serious uh, issue uh, for many people in this country. Uh, well, I want to call your attention, if I may, this morning, please, to this uh, newspaper here, which I don't get. Somebody gave it to me. Uh, the Desert Sun. Cannabis, in other words, weed, delivery now, okay, statewide. New rules even allow pot to be sent to cities that have banned it. Now this is supposed to be some kind of great step forward, some kind of great enlightenment, some kind of great liberation to show how we have really come of age in the 21st century. 
so that we can all smoke pot. And if you go to Colorado, I think you got it in cookies, something like that, cake. You know, so don't worry about your weight because when you eat these, you won't you won't know you gained weight anyway. Uh, I guess. And uh, the uh, the uh, this uh, this person here. Uh, trying to figure out who he is. Oh, Ian Stewart, who practices cannabis law at the Los Angeles law firm of Wilson Elsa. Uh, you figure the head of the lawyer's hand in here somewhere. And he says, in the past, delivery services have really had a hard time. Wow. I mean, who is not moved with compassion over that? Huh? I mean, have, have, have we lost our mind? See, I'm not worried about you all, frankly. I'm not worried about me. We've got three children over there. And you got a school. you got a beautiful school that you ought to be proud of and support. But don't worry. The, uh, the drug dealers now illegal, and they can not have as much inconvenience in delivering this stuff, even to the places that ban it. Oh, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. What kind of message does this send to our young people over there? What kind of message does it send to our school? What kind of message does it send? No problem. Now, I'm well aware of the uh, uh, medical uh, uses of marijuana. And actually, I have some sympathy for that. I don't know enough about it to give you any comment. I never give you intelligent comments, but uh, an intelligent comment about it. But I do know, I've sat with many of my former students in their 30s and 40s who had cancer. And they went through the chemotherapy. And from my experience, my experience, uh, the, uh, the taking of this marijuana, never had a marijuana cigarette in my life, uh, relieves their nausea, diarrhea, and the various other things that accompany with this uh, chemotherapy. That's a whole separate category, and I don't know enough about it, frankly. Uh, I hear arguments on both sides, but I've seen firsthand uh, it, does, it does relieve these. But this is not about that. This on the front page, this is, this is okay. This is okay in our state. Well, my state's Louisiana. We've been doing it, but it's been illegal. Uh, by our so-called leaders, our so-called political bettors, that somehow or another we put in office to do that. Uh, there's just something. Uh, there's just something fundamentally wrong about. That. And I don't care how liberal you are and how forward thinking and how on the cutting edge of societal evolution and all this kind of stuff. Again, what message are we sending to those children over there? What message are we sending to the other 500 and something children that's in that uh, beautiful school over there? This is a terrible message. That's what it is. It's a terrible message. Nothing we can do about it, of course, because we put people in who are all for this. Why? Because we, we even have a new name for it now, cannabis, which people tell me who fool with this stuff, that the stuff today is so much stronger and potent than it was 20, 30 years ago. I have no idea. Like I said, I've never smoked a marijuana cigarette in my life. Uh, believe that or not, although sometimes people think I do when I come up here. Uh, 
I maybe I should pass them out so I can relieve your nausea when I get finished. But, uh, but this, uh, these are the people that we put in. And of course, cannabis, what we used to call weed, which they do here, pot. It's a wonderful economic thing. It's a cash crop because we can charge, tax, distribute. Here are places that you can go to. It's, it's a wonderful thing. And look, look at all of that, especially since the other day, uh, the person that was elected a leader of the state, uh, uh, Newsom, that his name is, Newsom, I think, uh, he has a tremendously bloated budget. Who's going to pay for that? Get ready, folks. Uh, you know taxes are going to go high. But why has California experienced more defections, people leaving, than coming in? Can't live here. It's too expensive. You know, uh, I'm getting ready to get a box and back the bonds back there, you know, the grocery store. Uh, maybe somebody will bring me cannabis, I hope not. Uh, but this is, uh, this, this really is something. And, and so what happens, I'm going to end on this, but what happens is it once again dumps it back into the home and back into you who are godparents, uh, grandparents, and all of that. What, what education, what example, what lessons do you teach uh, about this kind of stuff? I don't want to see one of those children sitting over there. I don't want to see one of those children in the school right up the thing there. I don't want to see any of them uh, with uh, uh, smoking marijuana cigarettes and somehow thinking that this is a great cure for everything. You just pop your pill, you get your cannabis, you have all of that, no problem. You can mellow out, or what is the word? Chill out, or something like that. No, it's like being a zombie. Uh, and our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Our body is a dwelling place. And this kind of stuff uh, is, uh, is something that concerns us. But once again, it's dumped into the lap of grandparents, parents, and those who are responsible for the upbringing of children who are entrusted to us. So, I hope that we will indeed take up, uh, take up that challenge, because it is a challenge. It is a challenge. And uh, it's something that we certainly need the moral strength for, and also the education for, to, uh, to help our young people, to help our young people grow up so that the answer is not an easier distribution of this. But in fact, as uh, Nancy, uh, Nancy Reagan said several decades ago, just say no. It's not a bad idea. Just say no. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please stand.
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who are in need, need of healing, may be surrounded by care and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that this community of believers may be strengthened by the Spirit for a life of obedience and compassion following Christ's example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have died, especially for Jane McCourt, that they may know eternal rest in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we present all of our prayers to you. You search our hearts and you know what we need. Grant us each day your graces, that we may always walk in the light of your truth. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we give this bread to all. For through the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we give this wine to all. For through the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May your people's offering, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly need. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. And so our voices blend with all the choirs of our angels, angels, and saints as we pray. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks broken, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord. Therefore, 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Gerald our Bishop, and all the clergy. And also, we pray that for our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have done your will throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> with him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor assured, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Son, forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold, Lamb of God, behold he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Spirit, descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, God.